Hey there, it's Aaron. In this video, I'm going to do some restoration of the image that is here on our screen. I'm going to just clean it up overall, see if I can bring some sharpness back to it with some AI restoration, and definitely want to recolor the image to bring more vibrancy to it. There's an issue up here near her hairline that needs to be resolved. And yeah, just generally, let's see if we can do her some justice here. So the easiest place to start with is going to be by cropping. And let's bring it in to here, here, like so, and like so. Not quite centered there, but her body is centered within the frame more or less, so I'll take that. We're happy with that. Now the issue with the band, there are two ways to attack it. One is with the remove tool and the other one is with generative fill. So let's try generative fill first of all. Let's go here and I'm going to select this necklace needs to either be repaired or needs to go. We'll kind of take it like this and let's try generating. So I'm not sure what it is about this image that the AI content guideline doesn't like. It's saying that it's a copyrighted image, but I hate to tell you Adobe, but Adobe Firefly AI generated this image. So I hope it's not copyrighted. So that because that didn't work, let's go ahead and hit it with the remove tool and see whether or not we can have more success with this method. Just increase this a little bit here and Nice big swipe all the way across like that. And let's see whether or not this can resolve the issue. I hope so. It would be nice and satisfying just to have that completely removed. Great. I think that that did a decent enough job for us. While I'm here, I'm going to get rid of that. And we'll get rid of that one. Now, there is some issue with the collar here. I'm really not going to get in here and massage it too much because I feel like I'll just end up making a mess of things. And this is really just a practice round for us. So we did get rid of that large bar that was going across the center of her chest. I think that that would be called success. So let's go in here. Let's zoom in on the face nice and close. And let's see if we can repair the hair. Let's see if we can do one of these and see if that will just kind of clean the hairline up for us. Let's have a look. That might be too much of a straight line. Let's go up here and try a little bit, a little bit more neatly. I don't want too straight of a line, but she does have something that's happening. That actually doesn't look too bad. I left some decent texture happening. Great. So now Neural filters. Let's see if we can sharpen the image up with a photo restoration filter. All right. So photo restoration, just like that. I'm going to bring the enhancement level down and the face, enhan face enhancement level down as well, because I want it to try to increase the sharpness and I find with the enhancement on sometimes it can make things look too blurred almost like there's a I don't know 4% Gaussian blur over everything that would be how I describe it so we'll see whether or not this will provide some enhancement and maintain clarity so there we go let's see before and after so here's before after before, after, before, after. It brought a little bit of life back to it, I think. Just kind of um, decrease the exposure slightly with, without it increasing contrast too much. So I think we'll call that a success. We'll accept that. Now, the reason that I did not choose to use the AI uh, coloring within the neural filters is 
I want to try another method because I think it's going to be more successful for this image, um, which is I'm going to just quickly export this as a PNG. Where will we save it? Right here in downloads. Perfect. And now I'm going to go here to this website, palette.fm, which colorizes and we'll upload the image here from our downloads folder. Here she is. So now that she's uploaded, we can go ahead and try different color palettes for her. So there's going to be the base palette. And then I'm also hit vivid natural and warm glow, just so that we can have a look at some different options here within palette.fm. So, wow, that did an incredible job. Let's check out the na vivid natural. The first one really impressed me though. I'm not going to lie. Let's see warm glow. See, this is what, this is the sort of color artifacting that I was expecting from the Adobe colorize within Photoshop. It leaves too much. It's, it tries to colorize the background too much and it, it just ends up making a mess of things. So this is somewhat more saturated than the original. Let's check out this base though. I mean, that, that makes it look like it was taken in the 1970s, 1980s. So I'm going to download this, but there is an issue. And the issue is that the image that was just created is a very low resolution image. So we haven't, we haven't improved this situation any by colorizing, not yet anyway. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste in a new layer our color, colored image. And I'll move it right up to the top here and we'll transform it so that we can get it. Well, we'll transform it so that we can get it all the way down, just like that, covering the entire canvas. And so here is before, after, before, after. Let's get in and have a look at the eyes. Before, after. So we are losing clarity, crispness. But here's what we can do. We can actually steal the color from this colored layer without holding on to the resolution, just by changing the mode here to color. So now what we see is the resolution stays the same and it's only the color that we're taking from that top layer. So let's see where we are here right now. I think that we've improved the situation dramatically. If you recall, she was in a white paper frame that was all tattered and torn, had some adhesive tape marks on it. There was a band of some kind across the center of her chest. We took care of that. The colorizing that we did on this looks like a professional job. And overall, I think that we've done a lot of justice to this image. So let me know what you think in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, then like and subscribe to encourage me to make more videos. And I will see you next time.